Okay, so to get the door panel off on this, there was a screw behind this right here. And then there's a big screw right in the middle right there. Just to pop this reflector off. And then there was a screw right down there behind the reflector. Also a screw right down there behind that hole. There's a little plastic circle you just pop off with a screwdriver. And then you can just pry the rest of the door panel off. And then that thing there just kind of popped off when I was prying it off, it was caught on it. But I think the proper way to do it would just be to open this up and then slide it through. And then you can just slowly pry it all loose. So there's two of them here. And there's just a little tab here that you pull down on. And then it'll pull right out. And that's how it is for both of them. I can't do it with one hand, but uh. All right, so now I'm gonna attempt to remove this handle. And first thing I did was just peel this back. And it has this like reusable glue stuff on it, so don't, don't be shy when you're pulling it back. And then there's this thingy here, which you just have to pop these plastic clips out and then be careful, I kind of broke it. I mean, I don't really care, but then be careful you don't drop the clips down in the door. Like I just, there's a little bolt right in this hole there back there it's gonna be a 10 millimeter there's another one right here be careful there's window glass you don't want to hit it hard here you can shatter it it's hitting it on the edge it'll shatter there's one right here and I can fit a uh, short socket with a ratchet there so I'm gonna take that one out next and then it looks like there's one down in that round hole there that I have to take out too Okay, so I got that third screw out, the one right there, and I used my, uh, they're all 10 millimeter. I used my impact driver with this extension on it and was able to barely kind of got to get it in between the wire that controls the lock and then this rubber thing there, but I was able to just jam it through and then kind of did it by feel and luckily the bolt popped out. And then the middle one here is easy to get. I did that with the impact driver too. So that's the only one that might give you trouble. So yeah, there's this little part here and you just take a flathead screwdriver and you just pry that down. <coughs> I can't do it on camera. So you pry it down like that. So the green part gets off of the back part of it and then the wire just slides out. And then this one here looks pretty much the same. It's really simple. There's this part here. You're just gonna pry that apart. So you're just gonna pry these two parts apart here. And then, and then the wire will just slide right out like that. Now, there, no more door handle. 